Welcome to the Walder's New Product Express for July 2023. This month, throttle up your model railroading projects with these exciting new announcements. First up, a classic diesel gets a nose job. The Electromotive Division Jeep 9 has been a mainstay of the North American railroading scene since the mid-1950s. This latest Walder's mainline Jeep 9 locomotive models a common variation of this long-serving diesel. In the 1960s, several railroads rebuilt their Jeep 9 fleets with lowered short hoods. These chop nose Jeep 9s offered better visibility for train crews. The Walder's mainline chop nose Jeep 9 accurately captures the contours of the prototype and the spotting features of what rail fans refer to as a Phase 2 Jeep 9, most notably the slotted skirt around the fuel tank. The HO Jeep is also available in dynamic brake or non-dynamic brake equipped versions as appropriate. The plastic body features see-through steps and drill starter points for those that wish to add a Jeep 9 diesel detail kit. Under the hood, the Walders mainline Jeep 9 boasts a state-of-the-industry Walders Proto Drive with a flywheel-equipped CAN motor and helical gearbox for exceptionally smooth performance and superior pulling power. Each locomotive is also equipped with a die-cast metal chassis, metal wheels, and metal Protomax knuckle couplers. The model is available in a standard DC version that includes a 21-pin plug for easy DCC conversion, or in a DCC and sound-equipped version that features a factory-installed ESU sound and DCC system. Both versions include constant directional LED headlights for long-lasting operation. This new run of Chop Nose Jeep 9s is available in the following road names. United States Army, Canadian National, Canadian Pacific, Chicago and Northwestern, Illinois Central, Milwaukee Road, and as a generic leased unit with a road number but no lettering. These leasing company units would be great to use as an industry switcher or as the starting point for your own freelance line. An undecorated standard DC version is also available. Moving from the railway to the highway, our next announcement is sure to provide that perfect finishing touch for your neighborhood, city, or town scene. Since the 1990s, the Morgan Olson Root Star van has been the gold standard walk-in step-through van used by businesses around the world. Walders is proud to offer these newly tooled, officially licensed HL scale replicas to modelers. Morgan Olson Root Star vans are built tough to make frequent stops and designed for efficiency with easy access between the driver and cargo bay to decrease the time needed at each stop. These vans have also been very popular with the food truck industry where cargo bays are converted into kitchens. Each Scene Master HL scale Morgan Olson Root Star van includes a detailed driving compartment and interior bulkhead. Delivery versions include either twin hinged doors or roll up rear doors as appropriate. Emergency versions include non-working light bars and rooftop air conditioners. Food truck versions feature side customer windows, rooftop cyclone vents, and a large rear-mounted propane tank. There are five different body and detail variations in all. The delivery versions of the Morgan Olson Root Star van are available decorated for UPS, Magic Pan Bakeries, United States Postal Service, FedEx, and Central Beverage Distributors. Emergency versions are available decorated for Police, Crime Scene Investigation, Tri-State Power, and Fire Department, Special Operations. Food truck versions are available decorated for Traffic Cones Ice Cream, Tacos To Go, Krusty's Pizza, and Dough and Joe. Next up, we have four new freight cars from Walder's Mainline, starting with a newly tooled modern reefer. Railroads pioneered the long-distance transport of refrigerated goods, and that service is still going strong today. Long strings of white 72-foot refrigerated cars are a common sight on today's high-speed mainlines. This newly tooled HO scale model from Walder's Mainline is based on a reefer introduced in 2019 that's now in service nationwide. The HO cars feature prototypically correct ends, revised plug doors, and separately applied end-mounted refrigeration units. Each car rides on correct 36-inch scale diameter RP25 metal wheels rolling in 100-ton trucks. Metal Protomax knuckle couplers ensure years of trouble-free operation. 
These newly tooled Walders Mainline 72 foot modern reefers are available in the following road names. Four Union Pacific schemes with AMRN reporting marks. These include six numbers of the scheme with blue top ends, UP Shield, Building America slogan, and high Armin reporting marks. And six numbers of the version with blue top ends, high UP Shield, Building America slogan, and low reporting marks. The other two UP schemes include three numbers each of the schemes with orange top ends, high reporting marks, and UP Shield. Both high and low reporting mark versions of those two schemes are also available. The car is also available in three road numbers each decorated for BNSF Railway, CIT Group Capital Equipment Finance, Cedar Grove Logistics, and Trinity Industries Leasing. An undecorated version is also available. Our second Walders Mainline announcement sees the return of a popular HO scale two-bay hopper. If you're modeling the late 1980s to the present day, you want to add some of these new 37-foot, 2,980 cubic foot two-bay hoppers to your freight car roster. These cars handle all sorts of bulk, granular loads, including cement, fracking sand, and roofing granules. The HO models feature rugged plastic car bodies with accurately molded side ribs and other details, as well as separately applied hopper gates. The brake wheel and brake cylinder on the car's B end are also separate detail parts. The cars have accurate 36-inch scale diameter metal wheels and reliable Protomax metal couplers. Making it easier to model prototypical blocks of these cars, the following schemes are available in four road numbers each. Burlington Northern, CSX, Dakota, Minnesota and Eastern, GATX Corp with GACX reporting marks, GE Rail Services Corp with ITLX reporting marks, and Union Pacific. Another favorite returning this month is a classic 40-foot boxcar. The Walders Mainline 40-foot 1944 AAR boxcar is back on HO scale rails, decorated in all new paint schemes. This HO scale boxcar is based on a popular standard Association of American Railroads design that's served by the thousands on railroads all across North America from the 1940s into the 1980s. The HO scale model accurately captures the main spotting features of its prototype, including 4-4 improved dreadnought ends, AAR tab side sills, and a scale 10-foot 6-inch interior height. The model also features a Murphy panel roof, see-through apex running board, and 6-foot Youngstown doors. Each car rides on correct 33 scale inch RP25 metal wheels and includes metal Protomax knuckle couplers. This new Walders Mainline boxcar is available in three road numbers each of the following paint schemes. Chicago and Northwestern, Erie, Gulf Mobile in Ohio, Illinois Terminal, Nashville, Chattanooga and St. Louis, and Pacific Great Eastern. Our last freight car this month revolutionized the way that automobiles traveled from the assembly plant to the new car lot. If you model the 1960s and 1970s, you'll definitely want to add some of these car carriers to your fleet. The Walders Mainline Tri-Level Open Auto Racks model an 89-foot flat car with a Paragon 2-style auto rack mounted atop its deck. These specialized freight cars offered increased capacity and easier loading and unloading compared to the automobile box cars of the previous generation. The auto racks could be filled with three decks of Detroit's finest and speed their rubber-tired commodity to markets all across the country. The Walders Mainline HO Scale Tri-Level Open Auto Racks feature a die-cast metal underframe for reliable tracking loaded or empty. Swinging drawbars also help these long cars easily negotiate curves of 24-inch radius or greater. The cars ride on correctly proportioned 33-scale inch metal wheels in 70-ton trucks. Each car includes metal Protomax couplers for reliable operation. The Walders Mainline Tri-Level Open Auto Racks are available in four numbers each of the following road names. Chicago, Burlington, and Quincy Rack with Trailer Train Flat Car. Denver and Rio Grande Western Rack with Trailer Train Flat Car. Great Northern Rack with Trailer Train Flat Car. Pennsylvania Railroad Rack with Trailer Train Flat Car. St. Louis San Francisco Rack with Trailer Train Flat Car. And a Southern Pacific St. Louis Southwestern Rack and Flat Car. We have one new Walders Proto announcement this month, and it's sure to be enlightening for those with a certain Walders Proto passenger car. Modelers who wish to add realistic interior lighting to their Walders Proto Pullman Standard 12 duplex 4-bedroom sleepers now have an easy option with this new lighting kit. 
These kits add a lot of realism to cars such as the Pennsylvania Railroad Creek Series 12-4 sleepers from the general name train series from last year. The kit features drop-in installation and long-lasting LEDs that operate on DC or DCC layouts. Each kit features all the parts needed to convert one car. Look for the new lighting kit to arrive this fall. Next up, let's check out some new HO and N scale structure kits from Cornerstone. Get a signature HO scale scene in a box with this new vintage trackside structures kit from Cornerstone. The kit is a fantastic value with all the parts needed to build five newly tooled structures. These include a blacksmith shop and coal box, small shed, pump house, outhouse, and engineering office. All the parts are molded in tan, dark green, dark gray, and concrete colors. Each structure is designed for easy assembly and includes clearly written instructions. These trackside structures would fit in a wide variety of locales in the steam and early diesel eras, including yards and engine terminals. They would also make great additions to mines, logging camps, and other period structures. The HO Scale Vintage Trackside Structures Kit is expected to arrive this fall. Our second cornerstone announcement provides end scalers with a modern rail and truck served industry. The Cornerstone End Scale Modern Grocery Warehouse is the perfect addition to an industrial park or as the centerpiece of a standalone trackside scene. The kit models a contemporary tip up style structure. With this construction method, concrete wall panels are created on site. The finished panels are then lifted or tipped up to form the external structure. The Cornerstone model features one piece walls with exterior splines, a common spotting feature for this type of building. The warehouse also has pull-through rail car end walls and truck and rail loading docks. Separate doors, windows, entry ramps, and stairways are also included. To add even more detail, there's an industrial-style electric meter and pan-mounted transformer, as well as colorful printed signs. While this kit builds into a great model right out of the box, it would also be the perfect candidate for a kit bashing project. You could even combine multiple kits to create a larger industry. And finally this month, we have three new announcements from Scene Master that are sure to add the finishing touches to scenes around your layout. The new Scene Master HO Scale Lumber Load and Pallet Rack kits are perfect details to add to your HO Scale industries. Both kits match details found in the Cornerstone Hardware and Lumber Store. The Scene Master Lumber Load Kit includes parts for 10 lumber stacks, two each of 2x4x10 and 4x4x10 stacks, and three each of 2x4x16 and 4x4x16 stacks. All parts are molded in a realistic wood color and designed for easy assembly. The lumber stacks would make great additions to the Cornerstone Walton & Sons Lumber, Mountain Lumber Company Sawmill, or Planing Mill & Shed Kits. They would also work well as loads for flat cars or Scene Master flatbed trucks. The pallet racks are a great way to add extra storage inside and around HO Scale Industries, warehouses, and garages. The kit features highly detailed plastic parts, including simulated wire decking. You get all the parts you need to build eight single or four double pallet racks. Larger racks can be created by combining kits. Here's an idea. You could add some pallet racks around a cornerstone bulk material storage kit, add some mulch or other ground cover in the storage bays, some vehicles and figures, and you could have the start of a pretty cool landscaping company scene. Look for these new Scene Master detail kits to arrive this summer. Our last announcement is a great way to add some summer fun to your HO Scale neighborhood. The Scene Master HO Scale Backyard Detail Set is the perfect complement to any Cornerstone HO Scale house. The kit has all the elements of a typical suburban backyard from the 1940s to today. The backyard detail set includes all the parts needed to build either fan top or louvered central air conditioners, clotheslines, a doghouse, a gas grill, a sandbox, and a swing set. You can also enclose your yard with five, five and a half inch sections of picket fence. This new detail set is expected to arrive this winter. Thank you for joining me on the Walder's New Product Express. Everything shown is available for pre-order from your favorite local hobby shop. If you require any additional information, pop on over to walders.com or check your inbox for our email newsletter, The Walders E-Update. We'll see you next time.